Senior staff at the impeached Deputy President's office, that is Rigali Gashagwa's office, have been sent on compulsory leave. The other one, the over 100 staff members were asked to proceed on leave with immediate effect as the government handled what it termed as an ongoing constitutional process affecting the office. Among those affected are nine advisors to Rigadi Gashagwa. Brenda Wanga has those details, but before we get into that, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa is still admitted at the Karen Hospital, where doctors are attending to him after he was taken ill on Thursday. On Saturday, his aides and some of his close allies were at the hospital, but there has been no communication from his close family and doctors on the progress of his recovery. His security detail was visibly scaled down, though, compared to when he was admitted. Initially, doctors had stated that the Deputy President is being closely monitored to avert any complications. Gashagwa was rushed to hospital after he complained of chest pain. Back to that report by Brenda Wanga on senior staff at the impeached deputy president's office having been sent on compulsory leave. Accordingly, His, Ex His Excellency Rigati Gashagwa EGH ceases to hold office. I thank you. Two days after he was declared impeached by the Senate, the staff in Rigadi Gashagwa's office are now feeling the heat of the battle for that office. The principal administrative secretary in the office of the DP, Patrick Mwangi, in a memo has instructed that all officers in job groups T and U go on compulsory leave with immediate effect. Also sent home are officers in the supernumerary contracts serving in job groups S, R, and P. The principal secretary, in his communication that was also copied to the head of the public service, Felix Koske, states that the action was associated by the ongoing constitutional process affecting the office of the now impeached Rigadi Gashagwam. The affected individuals were serving as chief of staff and deputy chief of staff, administrative secretaries, advisors, directors in different departments, deputy directors, assistant directors, and the secretaries, among other cadres of employees in the office of the now impeached deputy president. The memo from the principal administrative secretary also instructed heads of departments to designate responsible officers to take charge of the affected departments. They become the latest casualties in the impeachment process of their boss. They become the latest casualties in the impeachment process of their boss. Already other staff, both security and domestic, who served regarding have either been recalled or their numbers scaled down in the aftermath of the Senate vote that impeached him. This move comes even as the court stopped the process of impeaching Rigadi Geshagwa and that of appointing Professor Kindiki Kithure as his successor. Rigadi was impeached by Senate on five out of 11 grounds brought against him by the National Assembly. The same MPs then voted unanimously to replace him with President William Ruto's nominee, Professor Kithure Kindiki, whose swearing in and assumption of office stands in abeyance pending the conclusion of court processes initiated by, among others, impeached DP Regavi Geshagwa. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.